What's good, YouTube fragrance community and viewers? Hope all is well with you. The Valiant Scents coming at you with another video. This is going to be one of three of a mini series that I'm calling the Holiday Hype Train. Yes, Holiday Hype Train. Three fragrances that have been very much hyped in recent memory. And I'm gonna give my thoughts on them and I would love to hear your thoughts as well down in the comments section. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe as we continue to grow this channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you who are subscribed and each and every one of you, even if you're not subscribed, just for clicking on this video and watching, I do greatly appreciate it. So we're getting into the first one here, the first of three. And from the house of Lataffa, we have Kamra. Highly hyped Kamra. And this is the box, big box presentation here. You know how Lataffa does it. There you see fingerprints there, all the writing descriptions are down there. Down here. So it opens like this. Then you got the bottle here. Oops, make sure the camera sees it. The nice thing in the background. You could just sit it like this and it looks nice. Ooh, ooh. And then you pull this out here. And of course it looks like a square version of Angel Share by Killian but they went with the square version, square boxy, as opposed to round curvy that uh, Killian's Angel Share does. Here's the background of the box. So very nice presentations, as always, with Lataffa. With this one, we're gonna go over the notes first, uh, main accords first. Uh, and that is sweet, amber, spicy, warm, spicy, vanilla, cinnamon, woody, fresh, spicy, and fruity. And then we get down to the actual notes. Uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, top notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, and bergamot. Middle notes are dates, praline, tuberose, and mahonio. Uh, base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, amber wood, myrrh, and akilgala wood. Um, so we're gonna get into that. This is supposed to be a unisex fragrance. So we're gonna get into what I have already smelled, as you can see a little bit of a dent there in camera. So that's how it works there. And I've got my sprayer to the side here. So we're gonna go, I need to go on this hand, this hand. So right off the bat, uh, I mean, this is a nice nice fragrance worth having. Even at times when this was sold out, I figured the price was gonna skyrocket. It stayed at about $35. So for me, yeah, this is, for $35, this is an absolute full bottle worthy bottle, if you will. Uh, now, as far as getting into the comparisons, um, with Angel Share. Having sampled Angel Share, I can tell you that the initial spray, like when I first sprayed it on my skin in that blast, first of all, I'm gonna spray it again because if you notice how that sprayer is, the way it sprays, it goes, like it's not really honing in on my hand. It covers almost my entire hand as far as spraying up here, in the middle, down here, it just the sprayer is just like, it's not, it's not, it can't really target one specific part of your hand. It, it's just gonna cover the whole hand. So that initial blast is the boozy apple that is to me familiar from uh, Killian's Angel Share. But after that initial blast, that's it. To me, I don't see any of the comparison. To me, they don't smell alike after that initial blast. When you smell that initial blast and it hits the air and it hits your skin and the way it pops off your skin immediately on that first 
glass when you first spray it. That's the only similarity to Angel Share in my opinion. After that, this is his own scent because I get the cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon. I get nutmeg, I don't get bergamot. I get a little bit of dates, a little bit of praline. I don't really get tuberose and tuberose to me from my experience is what makes a uh, fragrance um, to me lean toward femin feminine. Um, but I don't really get that. I don't really get that. And yes, women can still wear this, but the tuberose would, to me, would lean it so much feminine to where I don't think I would probably like it. But in here, if there is tuberose, I can't really smell it. I don't get the tuberose. I don't know what Mahonio is. Never smelled that as a fragrance oil before. I get the vanilla. I get a little bit of tonka bean. I get benzoin. I get a little bit of amber, amber wood. Uh, I don't get myrrh and a Kilgala wood. I've never smelled that before either. So um, this to me is a nice cinnamon, nutmeg, dates, a little bit of nutty with the praline, sweet, uh, vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, amber wood. That's what I get and it's a very nice scent. To me, it doesn't smell, it's 90%, 98%, if you will, not like Angel Share, but that's okay. It still smells good. It's an affordable price, $35. You get an initial blast of that boozy apple like Angel Share, and that's it, but then it becomes its own thing. Regardless if it's a clone and if it smells like what it was supposed to clone, or if it doesn't, if it smells good, it smells good and it's worth buying to me. That's really all I think you need to be worried about. That's all I'm worried about. If your tastes are different and what you want, is different maybe this isn't for you if you were looking for an exact clone of angel share i've seen others out there that compare to angel share probably better than this one does but this is still a good fragrance so for all the hype that this gets as far as it being hyped up as an angel share clone i disagree with that but as far as being hyped up as a good smelling fragrance i absolutely agree with that so not an angel share clone because just that initial blast that initial spray is not enough for me to say it's a clone but still blind buy worthy full bottle worthy however you want to say it this is really good for the winter time the first of three like i said the holiday hype train this is worth it for 35 dollars. this is it's a nice bottle nice presentation you can have this set up in your home and it looks really nice when you have guests over and they'll be asking what that is because it looks luxurious <laughs> um, and for $35 it's a steal it's a steal it's a good smelling fragrance so those are the main points when you're buying a fragrance does it smell good for you does it smell good on your skin and if it's in the answer is yes who cares what it smells like a $300 fragrance or not but that's been my review for Taffa's Camera, and this will be number one. I've got two more on the way, so be on the lookout for those to complete the holiday hype train. Hope your holiday, uh, your holidays have been going well so far, and will continue to go well for the rest of the holiday season. Until the next video, believe until you stop breathing. This is the Valiant Sense. I appreciate all my subscribers. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.